We're in the woods today. Uh, I was going to go down the beach, but it's it's very windy down there, so I came into the woods for shelter. And uh, I always felt feel good in the woods, even though I grew up in the north side of Dublin. There was a, an old woodland that was fenced off on the remains of an old manor house called Trinity Woods, and uh, it's still there to this day. And it was a, a famous old woods full of species from all over Europe. A beautiful old trees with a lake in the middle of the of the river you could cross over by two trees that had fallen like this so it was quite magical and uh, my first time to go into those woods uh, was magic because I was being I was remembering and this got me thinking about the idea of ancestor worship now a lot of the talk around megaliths and so, you know ancient sites is that they say oh these were about worshiping the dead these are about ancestor worship. I would take umbrage with that and say that it was not about ancestor worship, but ancestor reactivation. There is something about those monuments, and even the, the woods like this, that you remember your your ancestral past, your ancient your ancient heritage, like nothing. It reminds you that you're a part of a continuum where there's no destination as such and it's just an eternal journey and this is why I tell people to go visit these ancient sites uh, in Europe it doesn't matter where you live in the world when you come to them you're reactivated I take people from America Canada everywhere Australia New Zealand to places in Ireland and every so often you'll see one who suddenly stops talking and you can see they're kind of like looking around like this. And what's happening is then they're, they're you can tell it, something's happened to them. They've been reactivated. They've been, they've been remembered. They're remembering who they are and what they are. And this is why our ancient ancestors built these mounds and tumulus and passage, passage cairns and all these other kinds of things was to remind us to go into them or go beside them and to be reminded they were they were time machines from thousands of years ago projected into the future for us for us to be to be, to be to marvel and be enchanted by and this is why I tell people to do this you would not be standing in line waiting for the latest iPhone if you did something like that because the people who do that and the people who are obsessed with things like political correctness and all these other ideas what's really wrong with them is they don't have a sense of what they are they don't have a sense of ancient heritage and this is why their heritage becomes the latest iPhone or a, a movie or something like that it becomes the latest fix because they're desperately seeking a heritage Many turn to things like ayahuasca in the South America or they go to the Tibetan Buddhists and yet they have a vast heritage on these islands and all around Europe, all, the, all, all of Europe, all of it. And uh, they don't think that this is where the, the ancient ancestors of them live here, the ancient spiritual traditions. These, these woods are filled with... Th but they're all, you go to America and you will find that the woods are filled there too. If you're, if you're like uh, Irish-American, Scandinavian-American, European-American... You know, anything, Iberian-American, Slavic-American, you go to the woods in America and you will reactivate your archetypes there. You will feel Thor, you will feel Wotan, you'll feel Krom, you'll, you'll, you'll activate them all. Because your ancestral memory is remembering. And the Christians are, and the, the Islamics, because of the, 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 they come from the land of sand and goat and lizards, they are afraid of nature. They're afraid of the woods. This is why they make movies like Deliverance to make you afraid of the woods. Or all these horror films. Because the Abrahamics come from the land of sand and goat. They don't have this. They can't relate to this. This is a foreign planet to them. So when they talk about these places, these places terrify them. They're full of dangers. Where to people like me, they're full of opportunities. They're full of activation. They're full of wonder. There's a badger set over there that I'll, I'll come here in the evening sometime and during the spring and see the baby badgers playing and this kind coming out of the ground at, at dawn and dusk. And people don't think about these things. But they're not places of danger. They're places, they're places of salvation. 
and but they're not full of like people who want to kill you this is why i'm very happy in the old woods i'm very happy in the forest probably more so than anything especially the mountain forests although i'm at sea level here and people need to reactivate and because there's energies in this place that are part of you you know the, the ancient gods and goddesses are here and this is why you must reactivate because when you reactivate you're a happier person you're a better person speaking of which myself and maria wheatley will be doing a tour of ancient and magical ireland next april i'll put the link to it below if you want to come over here we'll be staying in very nice hotels traveling to places that only i can get to and i know and i've got great on the ground knowledge and it'll also not just be megaliths and ancient mythology and sites like that you'll have maria she comes from a family of dowsers and she will be, uh, she's amazing. I saw her last weekend. We did an event together in England. And her knowledge of like earth energies and the energies around megaliths will blow your mind. This, this, this stuff she's coming out with now, especially her recent stuff, is just outstanding. So it'll be like being with me and her. You'll get probably one of the best educations you'll ever get. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, please join us. And there's also day tickets. If you live in Ireland, you don't want to go on the whole, or even in previous Scotland or England, you don't want to go on the whole thing. You can just pay a day ticket and look after your own accommodation and foods. So there's like options there for people that don't have the full budget or don't want the full thing as well. And also, along with all the ancient sites, you'll have me entertaining you, Maria entertaining you. I'm thinking, well, look, we're great. We're both very good storytellers and uh, and fun. We'll have a laugh. And also. Uh, I'll introduce you to paranormal aspects to the area, witchcraft, magic, you name it. I mean, there'll be nothing like this, so it'll be like this channel on tour. So if you're interested in that, check the link below. And uh, if in the meantime, start reactivating. Even just thinking about the ancient archetypes, the ancient, the ancient gods and goddesses will reactivate them. And it doesn't matter where they come from, any part of the world. It's just that the ones I'm familiar with are the European and Indo-European archetypes but it's here for you to find so you know the kingdom of god is not within the kingdom of god exists everywhere all around you the kingdom of goddesses and gods and archetypes and power forces they're all around you and inside you as above so below feedback loop uh if you if you want to be a better person and enjoy life and not be tormented by nonsense like politics and all this stuff. People, someone said to me yesterday, what's the solution to all this? There is no solution. This is the solution. Get Switch off your computer, switch off your TV and come here. Come to places like this. This is the solution. There's no, there's no one going to be standing on a stage with their arms held apart going, I, I've saved the world. That's never going to happen to anyone. And if that's what you seek, you're still lost. So stop being lost. And... Uh, we're coming into Yule, and so the woods are coming alive with the Odin. It's very strong here at the moment, extremely strong. Uh, if you live in Central Europe, Krampus is, is emerging from the, the shadow. And I hate Christmas and the health commercialization, but I love Yule. And uh, yeah, Odin is definitely around here. I can, feel a, I can feel his power force extremely strong. He's emerging, and uh, what a great thing.